Alrighty. So, by the way, myself, I never cheat on these kickoffs because I don't like how you have to boost path. Uh, yeah. Not that that's a huge deal. Okay. Oh, alright. If you're gonna do that, at least pick up <laughs> What path. I like it. Nice. That's right, not something jump. I've seen before. That, that you gotta jump for soon. Uh, you, get, you just like you gotta read this faster. That, that's basically all I can say. If you're drunk when you're playing this match, you shouldn't be drunk because that's why you missed this. That was a great pass. Um, trust yourself more. That's basically all I can say. Uh, practice short areas. Just go for balls. That's where you just like that's where ball chasing practice helps a ton because you'll start to realize what you can and can't go for and you'll start to get better at the stuff that's difficult to go for like that. Solid. I like it. Could have had a little bit more power, but otherwise it's pretty good. Defense. Oh man, okay, I hate your camera settings. Like, I, I don't... I, if you can see what's going on, that's alright, but there, there's an opponent there. And I couldn't tell for the life of me, and I hate that this boost is in my face right now. So, I'm not going to force you to change your camera settings, but I'm going to say consider changing your camera settings so that this doesn't happen. This is uh, camera height, right? Uh, dude, in truth, I don't even know. <laughs> I'll send this to Carbon or someone else that might know. But... Neither of you. In the corner, he basically landed on the camera. Yeah. Yeah, once again, you can't see anything on the ground here. That guy's there, yeah, but it goes by so fast, we don't know where he is. Which well, in is... this corner, he doesn't see the uh, opponent at all. So this one's more okay because you've got some amount of momentum, but I want you to notice like this is what you do all the time. You can't score from here. You just can't. You've got four boosts and you have no momentum. You're gonna lose. So like maybe pick up that pad and then try and turn. At least you'd have a pad. But I'd rather you pick up multiple because now you're just going back for no huge purpose. So that would be one where you can turn off that. Spear's got the ball right now. Go forward. Well, I mean, that one's a little scary in case of challenges. But, you, know. you didn't have a good view there. Ooh, nice. Alright. You could have made this a whole lot easier on you if you had flipped here to get closer to the play. Because you're just, like, all this time, no boost, just going. Whereas you could have been here much faster. And then after this, when you read, he's got a bad clear. That's where you start to move in. If you're already closer, you would have had a such an easier time going for this. If you look at it, Squint's almost recovered to save this ball. Uh, he wouldn't have stood even a chance if you were closer. You would have been closer if you had had more momentum. You get more momentum by flipping and using boost. So, like, that's just how that works. Serving boost is great, but you also need to pick up your speed. That's why everyone talks about improving the speed. Nice. Now, I don't know how you did it, Sphere, but actually, no, we're going to go ahead and check. But that was a better, better uh, cheat. Alright. How did you use this? Oh, I definitely oh, didn't. Because it went straight <laughs> towards you. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> But here's the thing, if you had used boost, it doesn't have to go straight towards you for your score. Yeah. Which is, yeah, anyway. I like that you didn't turn it into that. Good. Or, or didn't turn it into that. So, get the demo. Get out of there. <laughs> You're not doing anything. <laughs> so, uh, personally, I would have even gone for the demo. Like, I would have just left. Second, or right here. After this, I wouldn't have done anything. I don't have any boost. I need to get boost. I need to defend and support Spear after he hopefully makes at least a 50-50. You can't do that by once again challenging. 
You've now just thrown off Spear, so okay, somehow you're already there, never mind. But you don't even get the boost thing on the side of the play. Like, just be, be more okay with driving away from the play when your teammate is ready to make a play, or make a move on the ball. Here, I think this is kind of what you do a lot. That's like kind of doubling up in a weird way. Uh, yeah. Like that, that's kind of what happens with your normal position. The one where I'm uh, not middle enough? Yes. Um, and it just kind of made the play a little awkward. Um, so like, I was already starting to say it. Don't, don't go for this. Go back post. Like that... Sphere just bought you a ton of time with this touch, and instead of utilizing that time, you are sitting duck and asking to get dunked on. Because you have no idea where that guy is behind you, you have zero momentum, and if he's in a good position for this, he has just shot and scored, because Sphere is now the only one still playing. Works out? Don't trust it to work out. Go back post. Alright, leave. Good. You don't have boost. Leave. Uh oh. <laughs> Yep. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. I definitely shouldn't have gone for that one. Oh, uh, yeah. So he had full possession. Right here. Don't trust Undeniable in this situation. I don't care if that's freaking Squishy Muffins. Don't trust him in that position. Um, yeah. Especially not here, even. What you need to do is instead of... This is where you want to keep ball cam on or you want to turn ball cam back on, maybe flip, maybe don't, but just pick up that little pad and then go to go to net. Just just defend. Like, like yeah. I said, this game is easy mode. If you just defend, you have plenty of boost to defend the net. And what, you, what I want you to practice doing, and what you'll find, is if you literally just park yourself right here, he's just going to give you that ball nine times out of ten. And if you look at how he ends up... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you he wasn't going to do anything but that. And if you had just parked your car right here, that's an easy save. Boost and flip and you're golden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Undeniable wasn't there to help you in any way, shape, or form, but like, if you look at that, you could have easily 1v2 there. With 20 yeah. years. Man, that looks freaking weird. Why is it doing this? Yeet. Oh, that do that, but okay. Camera is going weird. <laughs> All right. So after you hit this, flip towards it. You want to be as close to this ball as possible. And even if he hadn't bumped you, I'd rather you have jumped and flipped towards it. That way, you're not using any boost. But notice how you're not going supersonic. You need to be going supersonic after this ball. Your goal is to keep it as close as possible. And you should have continued to chase after this ball. And if you had, you wouldn't have bumped Spear. And now you don't know what's going on. So long you think Spear's still trying to go for this ball. And now you just made it really awkward. Good. Boost. Defend. That's funny. I would rather you park yourself in that. That's okay. Uh, yes, you need to practice that. I like the idea, but that is terrible execution in a moment where you cannot perform terribly. Like, this is a death sentence. So. I like that you went to defend them. And holy cow. Alright. I got you. Uh oh. It's very clear. Hey, you need to go faster. Like, I don't really know how to. how you would, but you need to. Because. You had full possession of it, but you went so slow that instead of you continuing to keep possession, this guy just cut you off. You need to expect them to do that. And he demoed you for it. He demoed you for your sins. Alright, super awkward. I like the patience. Nice. Good. Okay. That, that was a terrible spawn for you. Okay. You used a ton of boost while super soft right here. Oh, he used 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that it wouldn't necessarily be useful to have that boost yet, but... Nice! Look at that shadow defense right there. See, he's in 2v1, he doesn't have a ton of boost, but... Like, easy game, easy life. If they can't score, you win. So... 
That was, that was good. Oh no! Okay. Um, practice this? Because... So what I recommend you do is you guys just 1v1 each other all the time and focus on shab offending as much as you can. Because if you practice this and get consistent with it, then you can shadow defend literally anything because this is the hardest thing to shadow defend. And this actually does happen quite a lot if they flick from really far away. That's why you want to be semi-close. Um, there, Sorry, scratch that last statement. But this is the most the hardest part of shadow defense is this right here. If you start shadow defending, this will become easy. Or not easy, but you'll mess it up one time out of 50 instead of one time out of 10. Because this is... I mean, frankly, looking at this, you're probably at like three times out of ten right now. Not a huge deal, but definitely something worth practice. That is unfortunate. So you probably gonna score that. Yep. <laughs> yep. No boost, but you know. Oh, pick up the pad, dude. You gotta pick up the pads. That twelve boost is the difference between scoring and doing what you just did. Yeah. I like the routing though for defense, because if he had taken this shot. This path you took was your only chance to save it. And if you look at it, because of this path you took is the only chance, reason you had even a chance at scoring this. If you were further upfield trying to shoot this, you would have you would have you would have never been able to hit it. Now it was just right. a slight mechanical mistake rather than being an impossible shot. Even with zero boost, I could have uh, turned a bit later and had the angle. Nice, he's flipping back. <laughs> Alright, so, yes, decent idea, but here's the thing. This is twos, not threes, and I never want to go for this. Ever. Because you have just... If that guy... What I see... Way, yeah. What I see is Gwent's being way closer to that than me, so I turned back. Yes, perfect. So, I here's the thing. You do want to attempt these, because every once in a while they will work out. But the thing is that the person that could be scoring the pass needs to be incredibly choosy. Because you kind of want to think... I find it easiest to think about this in probabilities. There is, like, 10% chance that Spear scores this and a 30% chance that you guys get scored on because of this. That is not the odds you want. And the rest of the time, it just becomes semi-neutral. Like, you 50-50, and then neither of you can score because you just end up close to... or the ball doesn't go anywhere useful. So... But every once in a while, that pass will just be ideal enough, and you'll see the opponent mess up, that you do want to be close enough, and then you'll just clean up on the same and look, if you look at this, the only reason you guys kept possession because of this play is because Sphere didn't die for that. So it ended up not only being a smart choice at the time, it ended up being the most effective choice. Shadow defend, good. Alright, alright. So now you're potentially in trouble. Like, if you tried to bait him here, this is good. But if you weren't consciously baiting him here, I want you to pay attention to the fact that right here, you're still driving away from the net. You would rather be driving at least towards the wall directly, or even better would be towards the post. Yeah. Yeah. I should see him already be turning it well, that ball I, into the net. I, that's completely independent of what I'm talking about. This is fine. Now you stop turning when you shouldn't have. You yeah. are aiming here. You should be aiming here. Um... So that's where, once again, that's where Shadow Defense Party is going. Yeah. Double hungry little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there wasn't much else to do here, but it, like, it wasn't a very useful demo if you could have gotten it. Just so you know. Better clear is your only chance here. Like, you, you didn't. That was just. Maybe towards the corner would have been better, yeah. Yep. Hard to get that touch, though, so I can kind of understand it, but yeah. That's definitely your goal in that situation. Uh, 
I have no idea how that boost had a big though. That's kind of nuts. <coughs> Alright, patience, but you a bit a little too soon. Bring around the Rosie. Bucket full of potions. I should have captured the score these. Dang! Alright, this one I would bounce dribble. It was a decent idea, but you know, you've got to change the angle somehow. Oh, and also, you need, if you want to hit this hard, you need to run up on it. You're going parallel with its speed until right there. And sure, the bounce dribble's okay, but you just pop it. You need to like, this would have been, I would have preferred if you tap, you've got enough boots, so I would have preferred if you actually just tap the brakes. Actually, no, shoot that there. Right there, just bang it. Like, he's not going to expect it, and you can just rip a shot from there if you place it right that close in. Like, there's tons of options. There's tons of options. Basically, that's what one's play right this once. Good bump. Good idea. Three might have been able to try this. Yeah. Yeah, see that bump? about the only thing you can do. That one's probably just like a hitbox. Alright, you gotta go offensive with 10 seconds left. And you're going too slow. So, um, I'm going to have trouble recapping this since I haven't, since I can't, I don't have a perfect memory, unfortunately, but, uh, undeniable, focus on increasing your speed, especially going onto defense. You also don't want to linger upfield with zero boost as much as you do. What you should do is you should try and get in the habit of picking up pads while you're in the offensive half in order to maintain pressure and let your teammate know if you're completely leaving the play to go and get a big boost in your own teammate's corner. Uh, Sphere especially, um, uh, work on shadow defense, uh, that would help you a little bit. Um, you also want to uh, trust, if, you, if the opponents are in a semi-awkward position, trust them less, expect them to mess up more, uh, play a little more offensive when you're in their half, play more defensive when you're in your half, basically. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I've not realized that those things are now together, but they are now. Um, so more defensive when you're on half, be a little bit more patient, uh, be less patient, be more offensive when you're in the opponent's half. Don't trust them to hit every single shot, uh, when they're in an awkward position that will give you more scoring opportunities. Uh, that is something yeah. I'm trying to work on right now is being just closer to the play and trusting them less. That way I have more, uh, that way I can just score. I'll, I'll just score randomly if I start doing this correctly because they'll just get like a poor touch to their own corner and suddenly they're just a half inch away from the ball and I'm already there. And so I've just scored from their own corner as long as I put the shot. Yeah, that makes back. sense. Um, I shouldn't expect them to like boom it into our net when it's, it's like in their half most of the time. What you can do, sometimes you need to expect like, hey, this might not work, but at the very least they're in such a poor angle that if they boom clear, it's probably going to my own corner and I'm just going to take that risk. Those are, those are the risks I'd rather have you taking because they're probably not going to score as long as they're not like literally inside the net aiming, already aiming towards your own net, they're probably not going to be able to score right away. Right. Um, outside of that, uh, Sphere, go behind. Don't go behind them as often. Be parallel to them less often. Let's go ahead and find... Let's see if we can find a counter attack and look at your guys' positioning. Uh, there are a couple really good 2v2 positioning guides, which is basically what I'm going to be referencing with this. If you go and look up one of them, it'll probably help more than me just doing this on the fly. Yeah, but uh, in general, um, when I'm following behind my teammate on the offense, we uh, covered that a few times. Uh, yes. I yes. was just like kind of covering the same as my teammate and not being in the best place for a pass. Exactly. So you want to be a little bit more middle here, and then you turn in 
And uh, yeah. once you realize he's leaving. Uh, it's so right. tricky. Because none of you are, <laughs> you're not giving me any opportunities to show you what I want you to show me, which <laughs> you would easily give me if you guys dribbled on defense more. If you have possession, dribble it. I'm just bang it. Uh, this is the okay. best chance I've seen, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. Right here, undeniable. Uh, you're not in a terrible position, but you kind of want to be more like here. Uh, you want to be, so basically, like, if this is completely across from your teammate, you want to be back a little bit, and you want to be, I'd say, closer than half of the field. Like, from here to the other side of the field, let's just call that the width for now. You want to be a little bit less than half of a field width. Uh, and basically, how you want to think about your positioning is, if my teammate gets a stalemate 50-50, what's the best position for me to be in? where I can also cover defense in a in case of a poor 50-50. So if a stalemate 50-50 comes, you want to be able to turn and drive towards it as you're already going forward, but you also don't want to be too far forward so you can get a good angle on it. Um, and you also want to be a little bit behind it so you can go and cover on defense if you need to. Uh, so like that situation right there, that's the kind of things where it's just like, just don't trust them. You can go and be offensive because if you look at those situations, I'm not going to score all that often. Alright, I'm going to go and call it there as I'm needing to go to the restroom. And